lot of goodies inside this pail. Mm. This can be for uh, car owners, motorcycle owners. First of all, we got the multi-purpose towel. Yeah. So this is uh, actually perfect uh, for hard, uh, hard surface cleaning. Okay. Mm, smells good in this pail. And this one, the car, the blade car shampoo. Yahoo! There you go. Actually, I use this. Yeah, it's really good. Uh huh. Oh, we've got the uh, the uh, Dob Project. Uh, I think this is a microfiber. There you go. Nice one. Mm, smells good in here. And then, aha, uh -huh. the scratch remover. The blade scratch remover. There you go. This is uh yeah. It removes fine scratches, eliminates swirl marks, and restores the color and gloss of your vehicles. Ah, ito yung mabango. The blade, the lemon air freshener. Hmm. Okie dokie. Yahoo! And after washing your vehicle, here's the uh. The blade car wax over there. Yeah. Can you see it? There you go. And oh, blade tire black. Keep your tires glossy. But I do not recommend um, uh, this for motorcycle tires, okay? Um, this is going to be quite slippery for motorcycle tires. But for uh, car tires, yeah. This is, this is going to make your tires look glossy. And last but not least, it's like a loot bag. <laughs> okay, um, Micro Magic Dehumidifier. There you go. Okie dokie. And oh, there's an extra sponge here for, for the wax and stuff. Ah, it smells good here. All right, so this is uh, one of the best Christmas gifts ideas you can give for yourself or for your loved ones so here's the uh actually they call it the car wash pail set okay. and this cost hmm, only for 800 pesos everything on it including the pail there you go. actually there's more than 800 pesos inside this pail but you know having it as a set they uh it's like as if you got a good discount for this so there you go the car wash pale set mm. and for riders here we go we have the hero full face helmet and uh, as you can see this is already a dual visor helmet and I'm sure they have uh, different colors in all uh, blade stores nationwide or online. So there you have it. The hero helmet. It's an, an oh nice. The the visor is even anti-scratch. Okie dokie. And the price for this helmet is 2499. Yeah, swak na swak sa budget. And all these products that I uh, showed you earlier are all available at Blade Stores nationwide, or you can shop online or simply visit Blade PH for your shopping needs. Also available at Shopee and Lazada. Okay, so we still don't have shout outs for now. Uh huh. So, is there shout outs? Okay. Oh. Hi, Carlo. Yes, my uh, college uh, schoolmate. Really nice products from that container. Yep, you said it right, Carlo. Um, it's like everything is in that container already. So, and in fact, um, it's a bargain to uh, have one of that uh, containers, or should I say, the pail set for uh, for your cleaning for the for the cleaning needs of your vehicle. So. Everything's there. So if you're interested, just go to any uh, blade stores nearest you or simply shop online. Okay. So, all right. 
um, we shall we shall uh, watch the uh, Good Times Bad trailer. And uh, Good Times Bad is starring uh, Hansa Cabral, Jal Galang, with the special participation of Akihiba Blanco, and it is directed by Ara Baldonado. Yeah! Watching Woo! this movie is free. Just uh, subscribe to Blade Auto Center YouTube channel, Libring Librean, para panuorin yo ang uh, Good Times Bad. Uh, check out the trailer. Big Bang. Doon daw nagumpisa ang lahat sa isang pagsabog. Ako, si Janus Paraiso. At dito nagtatapos ang story ko. Black Ako si Jill De La Rosa. Paano ako napunta dito? Toolbox! Ipapalik mo yung toolbox ng tatay ko o ipapalik mo yung toolbox ng tatay ko? Toolbox? Paano ko ba ako pinagbibinta ka na? Eh, ako nga kakawala lang din yung suitcase ko. Mga kanilin ka lang. Sinahanay ko pa yun. Ay, yan lang siya, oh. Baka, baka we share the same magnanakaw? Except the last part. Bawal. Bawal. Focus. Focus. All right. So that was the trailer of Good Times, Bad, starring Hasna Cabral, Jal Galang. With the special participation of Akihiro Blanco, and it is directed by Ara Baldonado. So, yeah, libreng libreng panuorin yan sa Blade Auto Center YouTube channel. Kaya subscribe na. Okay, um, do we have some shoutouts now? At yet. Wala pa mga there. I see some shoutouts from Paul Sylvester Chan. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Thanks so much. Okay, and uh, from Richard Cruz, shout out. Bye, Pandilibre, Mamaya. Alam ko ikaw pa rin naman libre sa Jarial Speak. So, <laughs> anyway, all right. So, for the meantime, where is. Aha! Where is DP? Okay, Paul. So, for the moment, you guys have been waiting for. It seems that we have fans of my guests uh, doing some shout outs now. All right, so allow me to introduce my guest for today. We have DP and Pat Canellas of Maxi Scooter Drivers Group. There you go. Hi, DP. Hi, Pat. Hi. Hello. How's it going, uh, guys? Yeah, um, thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, and uh, thank you for uh, being my guest for today, even if it's a holiday. Yeah, sure. Anytime. Anything for you. <laughs> Ayan, no? Oh, yeah, na, yung mga fans nila, Diffy and Pat. There you go. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> All righty. Uh, 
Sige. So, so we are going to start the show right now by uh, you guys introducing yourself and uh, introduce your uh, your your group. Okay, let me start. Um, my name is Tiffy. I'm actually AKA Dennis. Um, I'm one of the uh, co-founders of the uh, Maxi Scooter Riders Group. Uh, we cater to any scoot big scooters. We started the group uh, early 2003-2004, uh, along with my uh, co-host here, Pat Canelas. Pat. Yeah, hi. I'm uh, Pat Canelas, one of the co-founders of uh, MSRG, uh, Maxi Scooter uh, Group. And uh, yeah, we, we, we've been at it for early 2000, 2003, 2004 was when we took our first ride. All righty. And uh, what year did you guys establish uh, the Maxi Scooter Riding Group? Officially, um, yeah, mga officially, mga we talked about it early, late 2002, 2003. Yeah. Um, we took our first ride. Actually, we were one of we were the first uh, scooter group that were able to trek both N legs and uh, S legs mm -hmm. uh, using our scooters. Uh, of course, they were, uh, we were still following the rules that uh, sco our scooters were 400 cc and above. Mm -hmm. uh, so back then, you know, when when that law came uh, was implemented uh, by the local government, now uh, you have to have a 400 cc scooter up. Uh, we used we apparently we had we had one, so we tried it and we were able, we were successful enough uh, to enter both expressway. Our end next ride, we went to uh, Pampanga lang for breakfast. Okay. Uh, like likewise on Slex, our first one is uh, we we went to uh, Tagaytay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the first that's, ride. That's our first ride at, uh, no, yeah. on both Nlex and Slex. There were about uh, together with Pat. Uh, our other the other members were Jimmy Aquino, our late friend Jimmy Aquino, and also our late friend Jay Mabasa. Mm -hmm. uh, likewise, another friend of ours named Joseph. Uh, also, uh, Brian Dumo, uh, everybody knows Sunny Navarro. Yeah, Sunny. Sunny Navarro. Yeah, Sunny Navarro. Uh, and also Densho, uh, Dennis Opinia. Yeah. Uh, uh, skip, skip De La Fuente. Also skip, skip De La Fuente, yeah. yeah. We were, you, those were the, we were the first few guys. Oh, and also Noy, no, Noy Rosote. Rosote. Noy mm -hmm. Rosote. Uh, we were together, I, I, I'm sorry. The guys who were able to sexually successfully uh, trek S legs and N legs together as a uh, to uh, no, to enter uh, using our scooters. Okay, so what make what made you guys decide to come up with such kind of group? Um, I don't know. Uh, first, we were with uh, we were with the 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 four hundreds, the Honda four hundreds, right? To see these, yeah. and then one of us. Uh, started looking into uh, maxi scooters i think it was jimmy or dennis uh, who started out with the forzas and it was really practical because it's a scooter it's automatic mm -hmm. you just twist and go and yeah. uh, if it's a maxi you can go through the highways mm -hmm. so it, it's, it's it's really very convenient uh, for traveling and for touring that's probably why we got into maxi scooters also back then the other the other factor for us was because every, everybody, I'm sure, including you, Lavda, was everybody was into uh, big bikes. Everybody yep. had big bikes. But mm -hmm. the, the only disadvantage of big bike was you don't have any uh, storage. You cannot put anything yeah, under yeah, your exactly. seat. Yeah. Now, the, the, the biggest thing you can put under your seat on, on any big bike is your wallet and maybe, and, maybe and your, your cell phone. Um, and document. document. Yeah, mm -hmm. documents yeah. of your bike. Maxi scooters advantage were they were able to let us bring like uh, many of us like many of us now we have our little kikai bag with like uh, an extra even extra helmets mm -hmm. uh, yeah. towels and stuff like that. you cannot do that on any big bike because now big bikes you have to buy a separate rack a bag yeah. and, and going home to... and going yeah. home you had lots of space for pasalubong and all those those stuff that you can't carry when you're riding a standard motorcycle. Correct. Right. Yeah. But right so, now, even the maxi scooters already have rear boxes and panniers, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, even then, yeah. For longer, now they became very popular because maxi scooter has has a big following, especially outside of the 
Philippines, like in Europe, in Europe, most people yeah. they avoid say, bringing their cars. They take they have battery scooters. They they can bring their office stuff with them, and yeah. some of them uh, travel even do work. I've seen maxi scooters travel around the world uh, right. using like, especially like the T-Max and the T-Max 500 and the Berg, uh, Suzuki Bergman 650s. Uh, mm -hmm. You can travel around in many places with those. Uh, you can, which you can, you know, th th they can follow what big bikes can do. Right. So okay, that's the, adva the advantage of the maxi scooters. Right. Okay, guys. Um, can you like somewhat uh, describe to our bladers or uh, explain further like what exactly is a maxi scooter comparing okay. to uh because then when you say scooters everyone has this idea like okay it's that scoot with a you know with a flat floor that uh you know you can just yes. uh, like for daily commuting so with now with the word maxi which means like you know big yeah. How, how can you define maxi scooters per se <laughs> yeah well okay um uh, according to some research which you can do on your own uh a maxi scooter is basically a scooter with lots of luggage space because they were used for touring yeah, like what DF said touring yeah. especially in the european in the in the the alpine regions in europe and stuff like that mm -hmm. um displacement wise the the maxi scooter per definition it's displaced 250 cc and above so mm -hmm. anything anything uh, 249 below doesn't fit exactly into the qualification of you being a maxi scooter oh, okay. so that that is per, uh, per 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 some of the regions in europe because they classify mm -hmm. their bikes right. there but okay. per se it's uh it's 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 a maxi it's a big scooter with lots of luggage space and you know just like what we said earlier you can even add a couple of boxes but mm -hmm. adding a couple of boxes doesn't make your scooter a maxi scooter right, right. Uh, yeah mm -hmm. it, it has to be big and of course a displacement for you to be able to cruise the highways safely okay um okay there are some pictures flashing yeah they are that's what you call big yeah that's uh, <laughs> maxi. uh that's yeah, a no, maxi, right and here is the, the what's this the uh, 400 that's, the that's the 650 bmw at uh, the 650 okay yeah the touring oh, that's a maxam i remember one of our members had one of those and that was like the only one here and it was white and it was like a sofa rolling along the highway literally like, like a sofa a and what I, noticed, uh, what I noticed is the flooring of these maxi scooters are like, that's where it's not flat floor. I think I see the the, the tank, the yeah, gas. Yeah. Uh, we put the, the gasoline, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, most of the designs, they put the tank in between your legs for a lower center of gravity. And probably just to compensate, instead of putting the tank under your seat, so you have mm -hmm. more storage space, they right. put it farther in front. Okay. Ooh, talk about big. I said like wah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're big even without the box in the back. You can put you can bring two helm on my oh, for yes. example, one of, I have a 650 uh, Suzuki Bergman right now. You mm -hmm. can put literally put two helmets in the under the seat and plus your a uh, travel bag. Uh, like with towels and a travel bag enough for towels, extra clothes and for your um for your toiletries. That's how uh -huh. like they're, they're trying. There, that black well, one right there. Yeah, there my six, that's my Bergman 650 right there. That feel, that gray one. That okay. seat is so huge. I you noticed that um, these maxi scooters have accessories or modified parts like a big bike. Like I, I, I just saw the uh, the exhaust, the muffler. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's for big bikes already. Yes. Yeah, most um, of the. Yeah, go ahead. Go, no, no, mm -hmm. no, go ahead. Most of the brands that cater to big bikes like Terminioni or Akrapovic, you know, the real ones like SE Projects, yeah. um, they, they also they also have uh, parts, I mean, full systems specifically designed for maxi scooters. Because like I said, these, these, these scooters are really a big hit in Europe. So, yeah. you know, basically 
the same thing like for example the new team access and even price wise their systems are almost uh, the same uh, same equally priced as those for the four cylinders most of these have only two cylinders okay have you guys ever uh, like your group uh have you competed with your maxi scoots like racing for that matter uh endurance uh activities actually uh, we participated um the first petron endurance run mm -hmm. um i remember yes we our group participated and i remember den show dennis opinia was the one the first one actually this yeah on the maxi scooter was the first one to finish uh, mm -hmm. he was yeah. riding uh, suzuki uh Bergman 400. Mm -hmm. uh, he finished for a second to Corinne Burgos, who was also using uh, a Vespa 300 GTS. Mm -hmm, I uh, see. Yeah, so, yeah, we <laughs> on, the, on an Ironman, I know there's a few um, uh, maxi scooter riders. Actually, this, speaking of Ironman, uh, it started last year. We have uh, another maxi scooter. It's getting really popular in the Philippines now. It's the uh, Honda XADV 750. Yep. Um, so yeah. we have all. It's a scooter, but it's an adventure scooter. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of uh, riding friends from the at AD, at Honda XADV Club who right. are also uh, going to be participants on the Ironman. So to compete with the uh, big big names like BMWs and uh, uh, KTM's and such. <laughs> yeah, and that was also a lot I've uh, I've seen in a couple of uh, Ironmans there. There are a few AK 550s, the 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 the, yeah. the Kimco flagship scooter. Yeah. I, I saw a couple of them compete. Uh, I, I'm just giving a shout out to them. Good job. Unfortunately, I don't know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I saw but, so uh, what is the highest displacement now uh, with the Maxi Scoot? Which brand? The, the one I know is the Aprilia SRV 850. Yeah, 850 no? That's yeah. the uh, highest now. It, 850 the highest. Max, Max scooter. Yeah. It's still the highest for quite some time, right? Uh, it was released yeah. when? 20, 2007? 8. Well, around 2008. Yeah. Around it, that it, time. Still, it's still the, the highest displacement uh, scooter. Mm -hmm. out there. Actually, I actually I wanted to also add it's you know uh, the subject of maxi scooter supposedly like an automatic uh, a big scooter. Uh, yeah. Many bikes, many bikes now that are coming out, even big bikes are coming out with automatic transmission. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Especially yes. Hondas, yeah. the DCT. Yeah, the, yeah, it's called the DCT, the dual touch transmission yeah. from Honda, which is like the Africa Twin. They have, they're coming yeah. out with automatic transmission versions of that. Also, mm -hmm. uh, Honda came out with a VFR 1200 uh, DCT also. So automatic wow. is uh, jumping over to the big bike category now, as not only just to the, I guess, back scooter uh, setup with, like, with the long seat and everything like that. So yes. even big bikes now are coming out with automatic transmissions now. But isn't kind of hard to uh, in case an automatic motorcycle stalls? Right. Uh, I mean, uh, there's no yeah. kickstart or like well, the manual, uh, like the manual yes. transmission. Big bikes, of course, you can push them. Yeah. Right? Well, that's why you always have to have a buddy with handy jumpers in hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And never leave home without one. <laughs> uh, never leave home with, especially with the buddy. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately yeah. for me, of the many scoot package scooters that I've owned. I never had any battery issues. Um, of course, like ma like many other big bikes, even with many big bikes, a lot of them are are electronic. Many electronics now, so yeah. even so, the best way to make sure that your your battery is in tip top shape is always invest on a battery yeah, tender yeah. for your bike. So yeah, okay. if you're if you're at home, you're not going to be using your bike. You just always keep it plugged in. Um, mm -hmm. So on any of my maxi scooters, um, never had never had that kind of issue. So mm -hmm. it's I guess it's always just you know it's an ounce of prevention along the money for your mm -hmm. for your bike. So whether it's a big bike or whether it's a maxi scooter. But this maxi scooter, um, just to uh, give me an idea, like what is supposed to be heavier, um, a maxi scooter or a big bike? Let's say with a four hundred cc big bike and a four hundred cc maxi scooter. Hands down, it's the it's the maxi scooter. Yeah. It's the heavier. Huh? 
Yeah. 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 It's heavier, especially the the heaviest uh, the heaviest I've uh, I've I've come to face with was uh, was his Bergman the six fifty. It's really okay. heavy, especially when you're just moving it around the garage. Uh -huh, it's heavy, uh -huh. but once you get it started, just like any heavy bike, it's really quick and nimble. And I'm sure you guys are going to agree with me that touring with a maxi scoop such a great comfort. Yes. Walang pagod. Walang pagod. <laughs> so even if you go Philippine loop. Yeah. The only yeah. the problem you're going to have it it's it gets too comfortable especially if you're traveling uh where uh, uh, let's say the tplex it's a long stretch of highway there's a, always a tendency that you 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 get drowsy you get sleepy because of too much comfort <laughs> and it's not a thrilling it's it's a nice ride but you know not that thrilling but it's fun <laughs> it's really fun it's convenient it's one way to travel I'm sure really? even uh, back riders would love the comfort of a maxi scoot. Yeah, they will. Exactly. <laughs> and the back seat is much more comfortable than the rider seat. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're bigger. They're more. They have more cushion. Uh, they even have backrest. Uh, yeah, they even you have can, a backrest. You have a backrest. Uh, they even have a backrest. Yeah, yeah, and if you're you're really lucky, if he has a. He has a really, really big storage box at the back. Right, you can literally right. like hands, hands off, and then just lie there and you know. It's gonna... Also, mo most maxi scooters now have the same amenities like any other big bike. Mm -hmm. um, like even maxi scooters now have um, traction control features, ABS, yeah. right. uh, uh, heated power grips, modes. power mm -hmm. modes, modes, heated grips, yeah. heated grips, heated seats. Uh -huh. Just like just like a lot of the features that big bike would have, and but like I said, the only difference is is that that uh, maxi scooters have those big huge seats. Mm -hmm. uh, you cannot compare the comfortability of a big maxi scooter compared to any big bike in the market right now. How about the more comfortable? How about speed and power? Um, the T Max riders. Um, even my Bergman, uh, I've seen it online, I've, although I'm, I'm not going to say I've done it. I, I'm, I've never done it. Um, T-Max and Bergman, they can go 200 kilometers an hour, even more. Yeah, I can so, imagine. Yeah, so just like, it, like I said, it also can perform. I'm not going to say it can outperform. It can perform uh, just as well as any big bike that's out there. I think I have seen a few uh, videos of uh, T-Max on the racetracks. Yes, very popular yeah. in Japan. They race in T Japan, T Max is a, has a cult. They have a cult yeah. following in Japan. T Max are very popular on, on the racetrack also. And they yeah. got lots of parts for it. Uh, and a lot of big companies backing them up, like Daytona, mm -hmm. and you know they they build parts specifically for the T Max. Wow. Now, even the European brands uh, like Malosi. Uh, we yeah, have a yeah. good look. We have a friend here from Valenzuela. His mm -hmm. name is the boy. He also sets up t a lot of T Max riders would have them set up even up far as even an engine upgrade. Uh, Malosi, yeah. so Malosi and Binel, uh, uh, not M M Malosi and the other one, uh, mm -hmm. Polini. They Polini. Have yeah, 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 they have performance parts mm -hmm. for for the Jap for the, the Yamaha T Max and a lot of the other Japanese brands. Cool. I'm actually looking at your photos. Ah, you guys look. I can see you guys look still fresh after a long ride with your maxi scoot. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the maxi yeah. scoot, it's always a fresh ride. Oh, diba? Okay. Yeah. How about a few shout outs? I yeah, your fans are already shouting out here. Let's see. Let's pick a nice uh, shout out here. Uy, Papa Kuy. Oh, kaninong anak yan? DV or Pat? Which one? There, according to oh. Tyler. Tyler oh, Florenti. That, that's my son. Hi, ah, Tyler. Son. Alrighty. And then, tumaka sa bahay ulit. <laughs> oh, your daddy, luma, tumakas na naman. Bad, bad, bad. All right. Yeah, it's a holiday. That's why. <laughs> the pioneers of MSRG from Paul Sylvester Chan, Diffie, and Pat Canellas. Oh, hey, Paul. 
Yeah, actually, Paul is also one of our big supporters from the Matthews Future yeah. Rider Group. He's, oh, a, he's, a, he's a T-Max rider. He's a T-Max yeah. rider. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. All yeah, Paul yeah. Sylvester Chan is one of the avid T-Max rider and also a member of the T-Max club uh, with the late Jay Mabasa. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul is one of the avid... Paul is a, is a... He's a... What do you call this? He cannot... eat either... A, he's a Yamaha no, follower. Mm -hmm. He owns the Yamaha Majesty and a Yamaha T-Max. Yeah, of course, I'd like to apologize for uh, T Max Club PH of uh, Jay Mabasa, who is now being run by uh, Eric Fu. Now, yes, Roderick Fu, yeah. Successor of uh, the late Jay Mabasa. I'm really sorry that uh, uh, I was not able to attend your uh, the T Max Club PH Christmas party, and I was not able to find a comfortable bike to use. Um, I hope you guys understand na medyo mahirap now to ride a sport bike in traffic you, sh you should have yeah. you should have borrowed one of our uh, maxi scoot we could have let yeah. you one of our maxi the <laughs> traffic right guys now yeah uh, slex is really terrible so um if i'm going to go anywhere in the south i'll make sure that i have a compact size bike yeah you so, could have borrowed i would have more, i'd be more than happy to lend you one of my maxi scooters to take you had i known but uh, ne uh hmm Wait, but this weekend. No? Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, so T Max Club PH, um, advance Merry Christmas. And thanks for the invite. Um, how about oh yeah? Hi Bell Tito Pat. Hi Bell. There are a lot of shout outs out there. Uh -huh. Tony Sico. I see also oh this one. Yeah, Tony Sico. Yeah. We wanted also, but also we wanted to add regarding uh, we don't want to start a debate regarding the difference of like many new many new scooters now that are coming out are also becoming big in their big sizes. Body, yeah, 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 big yeah, yeah. body. Um, we, we we don't want to start a discrimination on issue about those different different sizes scooters. Uh, for us, lang naman regarding us, what we consider a max scooter is simple lang naman is if you can go on the freeway. Which is uh, NLEX and uh, SLEX, uh, which is they're mandating 400 cc and up. And up. Mm -hmm. If you can go on those, if you if you are legally allowed on those freeways, that's that's what we consider a maxi scooter. Yeah, I think that's the best. Uh, no, so that there won't be any feeling of discrimination or mm -hmm. uh, any other thing to talk about. If you can go on the freeway on the highway, yes. it's a maxi. Yes. Okay. Uh, Correct. Okay. Then. Okay, I think this is for DP. There's a shout mm. out here. Uh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Why? What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I'm open to any questions. As long okay. as it's not personal. Basta hindi scandal. Hindi scandal question. Okay, <laughs> shout out now kay Tito. Which Tito? Pat. That's for Tito Pat. <laughs> Oh yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and then ah, Missinas there's somebody here trying to claim I think a photo. That's our computer cover daw. Ano yon? There of well. Oh yeah, wallpaper now <laughs> it's a PC. <laughs> Aha, mukha ninakaw ang mga pictures ng computer wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god all oh, yeah, of no? my <laughs> yeah, no, where was no paper where what are the where maxi scoots that you uh that uh you submitted to us yeah uh, wallpaper yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, wallpaper <laughs> i see the two guys um technician please focus on the two guys a picture of the two guys nope not that yung yung mga pa cute na two uh, guys uh yeah that's the late there, uh, there. Those, are, yeah, those are the, the late, late founders yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. it's jay mabasa yeah. on the right and uh jimmy, jimmy on the left. Yeah. yes God, look, i i miss those guys yes yeah likewise, us jimmy. too it's been fun it's, it's a lot of memorable memorable rights with both of them yeah yeah that's right and uh aha uh -huh. meron dito from tyler florendo Pinapagalitan na ako ng asawa ni Diffie. 
Patay! Patay! Uh, there's, a, uh, there's a question, uh, I think it's for you, Dennis, from uh, from Tony. Yeah, I see it. There's uh, a question for, from Tony Siko. Uh, down, 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 Mr. Technician, uh, down. ADV 750 or Versus 1000? Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to have I used to have a versus one thousand. I actually gave up my versus one thousand for an ADV seven fifty because I wanted to go. Uh, I wanted to switch to to a more relaxed uh, ride because uh, ADV is an automatic automatic also a maxi scooter. It's an automatic adventure scooter. But so, but 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 Tony uh, DF still has a lot of parts in his garage so. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get them, 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 they're just there. <laughs> I mean, I'm, still, I'm still an avid supporter of big bikes. Um, mm -hmm. It's just right now, for my preference, like if people would ask me what a lot of my riding friends, including you know, including you, Miss Love Love, if a lot of my riding friends would ask me what motorcycles I have right now, I actually mm -hmm. have four, but they're all Maxi scooters. Yeah. yeah all right. I just, you know, and this Paul, wait, uh, this Paul is trying to convince me I should ride a maxi scooter. Yes, I am very open minded for riding and owning a maxi scooter. Yahoo! Mm -hmm. Yep. But you know, the other debate about maxi scooters, pala, I wanted to add, is the cost. Uh, a lot okay. of people are saying that, uh, you know, why, for example, my, my Bergman uh, 650, I paid close to 700000 for that. So a lot okay. of people, a lot of my other friends would say that. Uh, that's kind of expensive for a scooter. So mm -hmm. um, why don't you just buy, for a example, big bike. a big bike? Yeah, a big bike. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, but like I said, I, most, of the, most of the time I tell my friends that people, when people ask me, I said, you have to ride it to understand you have to, why I chose a, a scooter. I mean, you can go on the freeway like a big bike, but you, can, you don't have the same comfortability of a big bike uh, compared when you're riding a Maxi scooter, you know that's the biggest difference for me. That's why I, so, I switched to a Maxi scooter. So basically, you are also paying for the comfort. Yes. Yes. Performance exactly. and comfort. Oh yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. speed. You, you can you can do that. You can do it on any motorcycle anyway, whether it's a scooter or a Maxi scooter or even a big bike. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but for me, the uh, what narrowed it down for me is that I chose a Maxi scooter. It's just overall comfortability i'm sure you've ridden a lot of a lot of our fellow riders have ridden uh big bikes for example from mm -hmm. manila to baguio yeah compared to riding it on a maxi scooter from manila to baguio uh the difference of your when you get there the feeling the the, the relaxation when you get when you arrive to your destination it's it's like night and day well like, parang day. Sinabi, like i said guy um those na who have the big bikes, mukhang laspag after the ride, comparing to the guys in Maxi yes. School. Yes. <laughs> and that is one of the, that's one of the debates about that, eh? about the two, yeah. dif the two different categories. Eh? Yeah, right. and a lot of us, a lot of us ride bikes just to unwind, right? Yes, yes. So, so when you ride the Maxi, it's, it's really, you're not, I mean, you're not always, you're not really in a rush. It's just, it's just sitting down comfortably and uh you know just cruising by you get to mm -hmm. savor every every scenery yeah. every smell that you see like yeah. that but in a maxi probably why uh there's this uh this big difference from a small scooter in a maxi you can do those in the highway yeah so on the free roads or in the freeways you can take your maxi there not unlike if you have just uh uh, a big scooter you can just take the old road you, you can uh it, it, you, i mean you can't you can't uh, really take it onto the freeway and cruise at around mm -hmm. the, the speeds that maxi scooters cruise mm -hmm. okay uh, the is also the uh, the other advantage for me for the maxi scooter mm -hmm. is uh, the wind protection um okay. on, on a big bike when you're doing uh one I say 150, for example, which is mm -hmm. you're not supposed. I'm not saying it's okay, <laughs> but <laughs> a lot of our other co-rider, my, my riding friends, not in riding community. They, for example, if you're doing if you're doing 150 on a big bike, though you can feel the wind pushing you yeah. uh, uh, on a maxi scooter because you have a big front, you have a big windshield. Yes. Um, 
it helps also on the aerodynamics of the bike helps mm -hmm. with, uh, for the rider uh, also overall affects the comfortability of the rider mm -hmm. um on uh, also braving the elements i remember one time riding with sunny navarro and a few other friends we were riding going north i was yeah. also riding my uh, 650 uh, mm -hmm. scooter and we hit a, a, a quick flash of rain around the bulacan area when we mm -hmm. arrived in in our destination pampanga mm -hmm. i i was dry I actually, mm -hmm. the only part of my, that was wet was my gloves. Okay. Uh, yeah. while, while Sunny and the other rider, they were all wet. Because and the rain oh, was just totally And, when, and yeah. when you're riding a maxi scooter, especially, not a really a heavy rain, or just a slight, uh, a little bit uh, harder than a drizzle, is that mm -hmm. your knees down, they really don't get wet. Oh, okay. As opposed to riding a standard where yeah, 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 every right. part of your lower garment gets wet and gets putty. Yeah. Oh, I saw an interesting shout out here. I think it is regarding um, upgrading. Uh, there you go. It's about upgrading. What do you think, guys, about that uh, question? I think you have upgrading from Yamaha Max series. Uh, okay, so I think he wants to... From a Max series, you're gonna go to a big bike. Mm. Hmm. Ano po it, bike? Uh, so you're saying is he, he's, he's thinking of riding? Is he riding an M X Max? Then he wants to jump to I, a he bigger did not yeah. or, Well, yeah, he didn't was, specify what kind of Max. It's just a yeah. Max piece, right? Because so, uh, uh, you have the X Max. If he already rides an X Max. Um, probably the T Max is next, the, the next level for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about this from uh, Richard? Uh, what's this? Sabang lubak lubak and muddy roads like mountains. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the only problem you have with the Maxi is the low, uh, the low uh, chassis center gear. of gravity. Yes. Yeah. Low center of and gravity. The, yeah, and it, uh, it, it's 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 bowl is really low. It limits your off-road capability, but it can handle. Uh, like what we said before, the the newer models they already have traction control, so not really a problem except for the clearance that you get. Well, but yes. with regards to uh, Richie's inquiry about the lubak lubak and muddy road, I think the perfect maxi scoot here would be the ADV X. Yes. Yeah. The X ADV. Yeah. Um, the airbox of the XADV is, is positioned so high you can do. I've seen it from other web, other Thailand, other XADV groups, like specifically in Thailand. They've mm -hmm. done river crossing on their on their XADV scooters. Wow, Kaya. river crossing. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, on my XADV, I probably have crossed the the. You know, everybody knows around I Rodriguez near Araneta, pag may bagyo, it's always. It's always a flooded over there. I oh, crossed did, my ATV, Siguro. Did Baja and, and, crossing. Yeah, I've I've, mm. I've uh, flood crossed my X ATV there. <laughs> wow, Galeg. Oh, yeah, Siguro yeah. measuring is about maybe about a foot and a half from the ground, uh -huh. the high. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. So, so a scooter can 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 also manage like some some maxi scooters can manage what like yeah. big bikes can do. Eto, there's a, I want I like this uh, jet ski on the spot. Uh, okay, I like this uh, shout out from Irene Ronquillo. This uh yeah, DP. Wag niyo sumbong kay mama. Gusto ko magmotor. Ah, okay. Um, Irene, I would recommend uh, go to Francois and ask a uh, ride on his Nmax Nmax muna for now. Okay. Don't tell don't tell your mom I said that though. <laughs> Tapos the mother is watching, no? I know. <laughs> Crazy. And then from Bell of Bell Florendo, what's your favorite motor, DV? Uh, my uh, right now my X A D V. That's A D V. Yes. Wow. My X A D V. It's it's one of the it's the only right now I can go a lot of places with it. Uh, unlike mm -hmm. because of the high center of gravity compared to the other Maxi scooters there out in the market, I can right. I can trek a lot of the uneven roads of Manila with it. Okay, we are down to our last few minutes. So 
Diffy and Pat, um, any last words and uh, uh, motor sa motorcycle safety riding tips for our bladers? Pat, go ahead, Pat. Okay. Um, rule number one, uh, the roads are not for you to race in. Okay. And uh, rule number two, just keep a cool head. You mm -hmm. know, I don't always practice that, but maybe me telling you guys <laughs> to do it, maybe it, it's going to amount to something. But, you know, just always keep calm. There are a lot of riders there. You're not the only one using the road. And there, yes, there are a lot of bad riders and drivers and cyclists and pedestrians out there. Mm -hmm. Well, you just be the better guy or girl. You know, just uh, try to avoid any uh, any untoward incident. Just be on the safe side. I agree. I agree. Always, always practice safety. Um, never, never go right. Never go riding without any of the proper gears. Even just be a, a reasonable uh, rider's helmet, not one of those bicycle helmets. Always have uh, at least also gloves. And mm -hmm. don't wear slippers. Always wear the decent pants, like a, you know, jeans. And um, make sure you have all. You know, a lot of people nowadays are riding around without any license or documents with them. So let's always, not just for the holidays, just always uh, practice safe riding for uh, for uh, everybody, for all the riding community. I also like to give a shout out to all my Maxi scooter friends. Uh, likewise, including my friend Pat, all my other riding buddies, um, also to the ex-ADV club. Um, also, uh, love, love, thank you for inviting us. Thank you for giving us uh, your time and uh, share, letting us share our, our thoughts and uh, for, uh, regarding Maxi Scooters. Um, I hope that this does not create any, uh, any uh, uh, negative uh, no, against the different sizes of motorcycles that are out there right yeah, now. Yeah, any discrimination whatsoever. Yeah, that's, that's just all enjoy the ride. That's all I can say. Uh, happy holidays to everybody. Alrighty, so thank you very much, Beefy and Pat Canielas of Maxi Scooter Riders Group for uh, educating our fellow bladers out there. And let us pause for a commercial break and watch this trailer, Good Times, Bad Stabbing. Hasnat Cabral Jal, Jal Galang with the special participation of Akihiva Blanco, directed by Ara Baldonado. It's free to subscribe at the Blade Auto Center Woo! YouTube channel. Can you subscribe now? Check this out. Big Bang. Doon daw nag-umpisa ang lahat sa isang pagsabog. Ako, si Janus Paraiso. At dito nagtatapos ang story ko. Lap 2. Lap 6. Ako si Jill De La Rosa. Paano ako napunta dito? Toolbox! Ipapalik mo yung toolbox ng tatay ko o ipapalik mo yung toolbox ng tatay ko? Toolbox? Paano ko ba ako nagbibinta nga natin? Eh, ako nga kakawala lang din yung suitcase ko. Mga kanina ka lang, sinanay ko pa yun. Ay, yan lang siya, oh. Baka, baka we share the same of the nakaw.
Ganun. Except the last part. Bawal ano? Bawal. Focus. Focus. Yan, Good Times, Bad, starring Hans na, uh, Hasna Cabral Jalgala with the special participation of Akihiro Blanco. And it is directed by Ana Baldonado. So, libring libring panuorin yan sa Blade Auto Center YouTube channel. Kaya subscribe na. Okay. And of course, before I end the show, I would like to invite everybody to tune in to Blade Radio every Monday to Saturday. We have Senpai Kazoo every Monday for Iisang Pangarap. And with me, yours truly, every Tuesday for Blade Moto. I think it's every Wednesday for Blade Radio Live. And DJ Neil Almighty for Thursday with his show, Our Daily Drive. Blood the Boom naman every Friday with Jack Logan. Um, and what's up, Bladers? For Saturday. Okay, so once again, thank you very much, Maxi Scooter Riders Club. And Kita Kits, parin tayo at the largest car accessory chain store here in the Philippines. Wala nang iba yan, kundi ang Blade Auto Center. Kaya mga bladers, take it easy and chill ride tayo. Yahoo! Blade Radio Live would like to thank the following sponsors. Dub Project. Hero Motorcycle Accessories. Micro Magic Premium Car Care Sparco Racing Accessories Pioneer Transcend Bosch Pertuwa Type S. If you like the programs at Blade Radio, please support our sponsors. And now, let's get back to our regular program. Paskong mapayapa Walang kaguluhan Lahat maligaya Walang lahi Walang yaman Salo-salo Sa lungkot at saya Ikaw ako Sila tayo Ang isang mundo Ang ating tahanan Isang pangarap Tayo'y magsama-sama Sa amin ay mag-isakay Tayo'y magkaisa Ngayong Pasko ay magbigay Kami isang pamilya Halina at mag-isabay Damhin ang diwa ng saya Gawing magkulay ang buhay Iisang pangarap Iisang pangarap Ko, ang Pasko ay masaya Lahat ng tao ay nasa piling ng mahal nila Karamay ka, kaibigan mo Hindi, hindi ka na mag-isa Ikaw ako, sila tayo Iisang mundo ang ating tahanan Tayo'y magsama-sama Sa amin ay mag-isakay Tayo'y magkaisa Ngayong Pasko ay magbigay Kami isang pamilya Halina at mag-isabay Kami ng diwa ng saya Gawing makulay ang buhay Tayo'y magsama-sama Sa amin ay mag-isakay Tayo'y magkaisa Halina at mag-isabay Kami 
ng diwanang saya, gawin ang kulay ang buhay. Ikaw ako, sila tayo, iisang pangarap. Iisang pangarap. Welcome back to Blade Radio. Here we're always pushing the pedal when it comes to bring you the best mix of driving music and high quality value for money car products and services. You got Edge right here too and you are absolutely right Saber. It's all here under one roof. And what's more, our friendly and attentive staff is always on hand to give you expert advice on the latest car products available. Of course, Blade offers top industry brands like Sparco, 3M, Dub, Meguiar's, Pioneer, Mothers, Garment, and many more, all of course at a very reasonable price. We hope you enjoy your visit here at Blade Auto Center. Meanwhile, let's get right back to the music. Keep it here and always remember, if, if it's, it's Blade, Blade, it's better! better. 